What's quack -a guys? I'm a duck quack here, and welcome back to just a pack opening on our Trader Glory account. So, Foot Champs Rewards are out, and as you probably saw, we managed to finish Gold 2. So, it wasn't an, a fantastic run for us, but it wasn't awful at the same time. I mean, we managed to turn around a pretty poor start, and finished respectively with 21 wins out of the 40 games we played. So, for this, we get ourselves 45,000 coins. We also get us entry into the next weekend league. Whether or not I'm going to play it, I doubt it because I probably won't have time. But we also get our packs from it as well. So we get two rare mega packs and one rare gold pack. So we're just going to jump straight into these and hope that this is the time when maybe we're going to get a little bit of luck. The first pack, well, it's Tiny Flares. It's Tiny Flares as usual. We do get Gimenez, Gimenez or however you pronounce his name. The centre back from Atletico, uh, one squad fitness, a couple of decent position changes, and Voland. So again, it's not an absolutely incredible pack. Um, oh god, we do need to clear something from our transfer list. Ah, oh, screw it, we'll just discard him. Let's quickly go and check out that transfer list though before we open the next ones. I know Voland only goes for about 800 odd coins anyway. At least I think he does. Well, I'm <laughs> hoping he does anyway. So as you can see here, loads of stuff from last time is sold. I've been listing up the players from our club slowly and steadily, and that's what put us onto about 130,000 coins, just before we obviously got the 45,000 coins from the weekend league there. So we've just got the two big packs now, the two rare mega packs. I thought that was a walkout then for a second. Oh wow, the flares are tiny again in this pack. Is it Rainer? Downgraded. Yes, 83 Rainer. Oh, that's really not what I want to see from these. We get Lamella, Origi, and that's it. Four squad fitness, which is pretty nice. A load of position changes. Um, a couple of players here that might go for a little bit. We will just double check them now we've got the space on our transfer list. Okay, so he's basically discard. There's not much point in listing him up. I've got a feeling it's going to be the same for this guy. No, he's Italian in a different league. So that's why he does go for a little bit more. Cool, we'll list him up for 1,800. And then the last one we have is a centre-back from the Bundesliga. Now, I can't imagine him being worth... No, basically discard. Not even selling for 650. We'll discard those and jump into the final pack here. So we've got one last rare mega pack. Ah, oh, it's not a walkout again. Wow, tiny flares again? We get Schmeichel in this pack. That's just awful. We've probably opened close to 2 million coins worth of packs on this account now. And we just literally have opened no one. Those reward packs were just so poor. I mean, if it wasn't for the 45,000 coins that we got, then we would have got absolutely nothing from that weekend league. And it's the same with all the packs we've been opening recently. We've just not got anything from them, like, at all. We're going to list them up for 800 coins. He might sell for that. And then we've got Yataka here, who may go for a little bit as well. I can't see him being much, though. No, he's basically discard. Doesn't even sell for discard. So we'll discard him as well. That does push us on to over 180,000 coins, which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, what we could use that for is a little bit of investing. Oh, that guy sold pretty quickly. Maybe we could have got another 100 out of him. So what we're going to do now is just look at some potential investments for the upcoming foot birthday event, which is actually tomorrow, I think it starts. So we're pretty much at the last moment to invest. But let's see what we can actually find that could provide us some kind of profit. Right guys, so we're going to use the logic that I've been using for a while, that we're going to need these high rated players at some point. So what we're going to do is pick up five of each of a selection of high rated players that I've chosen. So the first lot of players we're going to pick up are five Oblacks. Now I could bid on these players, but I don't have a lot of time tonight. And saving 200 coins a card would be great, but because I don't have the time, we're just going to spend that little bit extra here. Uh, we're going to place these, well we'll send one to our club, and we'll place the rest on the transfer list. That's four Oblacks. I want to do. I do want to get one more Oblack, and I think we're going to have to pay 8100 for the last one, which isn't a huge problem. We'll pick up one last Oblack and send him to the transfer list as well. Then we're going to look at some other keepers, just because the keepers are the cheapest ones usually. So the next keeper that we're going to look at is going to be Handanovic. So we're going to get a mixture of players from different leagues as well, so we can cover basically everything that we can. I think Handanovic is roughly the same kind of price. Yes, yeah, so we've got two here for 80, 80? For 8,000 apiece. And if one of them is not used, he can definitely replace Buffon in our squad anyway. So it's not going to be an awful decision here. And we probably have to just raise that up to 8,100 to grab the last. Oh, is that gone? 
Yeah, that's gone already. Uh, that gets us the third Handanovich. Nope, that's gone as well. Okay, let's raise it to 8,200. And there's three there. That's exactly the amount we need as well. So that is pretty damn perfect. No, we're only going to get two of them, maybe. We're going to get two. Okay, cool. We'll leave it at four Handanoviches. That's absolutely fine as well. We've got eight slots left on the transfer list. So we can't be buying too many players. The last player I'm going to go for is Peter Cech. Now, he's going for about 9.9, nine, so he's a bit more expensive than when I last made the video about him. Oh, that guy's definitely gone, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, that was close. Oh, that 9,001 as well is gone. 9,700 isn't a bad offer, though, for him. I will take that one all day long. There was another 9.7 as well there. Uh, that's one, two. Nope, that's one. We just missed out on him somehow as well. That's two. I think the rest were 9,000. Yeah. That's three. Do we have a check in our club already? I've got a feeling that we do have a check. So let's just grab the four of them there. And yeah, we do have a check in our club. So we've got, oh, we've only got four spaces left on our transfer list now. So the next thing we're going to look at is going to be a couple of Bundesliga players. Because the high rated Bundesliga players aren't too expensive. So first off, we're going to look at Hummels. And we don't want to be spending more than 10,000 coins bidding on this guy. So we'll just change this up to 10,000. And we're going to have to bid on these guys because, well, we don't have the space on our transfer list. Um, that one there will do as well. Let's see what else there is. 7,000. It would be nice to win it for that price. Uh, 1,400. I would love to win it for that price. 6,500. So that's five Hummels that we've bid on there. And then the last player we're going to look at is going to be Muller as well. So I like Muller for different reasons as well as this. So I feel like he's going to be a fairly safe investment. And we're just going to spend the last few coins that we've got bidding on a few of these guys. So we've got one bid on there, second bid on here. He's striker as well, so someone's changed his position. We don't have too long left on these bids is the one annoying part. One, two, three, four. And the last bid goes in there. Awesome, cool. So I'm going to finish bidding on these guys. Hopefully we'll win most of them. And then we'll just reassess what we've actually got. Right, guys, so we managed to win a small handful of players. So as you can see, we've got, I think we've got four copies of Hummels, three copies of Muller. We've got all the players in our club still, and that's all of our coins gone and invested in these high-rated players. Now, I'm going to keep listing stuff from the club over the next, well, day or so. <laughs> well, how long have I got? Yeah, about a day, if that. And any coins I generate from that, I'm probably going to pump into the similar players that we've invested in here. But even if they're not used, then I'm going to get rid of them as quickly as possible before the packs flood the market. And hopefully we should at least come to around a break-even point. Saying that, though, I can't imagine a huge event like this isn't going to have some specific player SBCs. And hence, I can't imagine these kind of players not being useful in some way or another. Right, guys, so we're just going to end the video there. So we're going to keep it nice and short here. It's just going to be a weekend league reward opening video and just looking at some investments for foot birthday. We've done both of those things, so we're not going to bother playing any more games now. We've played so many recently and weekend leagues coming up that we're just going to wait and see what happens to our investments. And then hopefully we can build our teams a bit more. We can add some players to it, increase the value of the players we've currently got in them. Anyway, guys, if you're still enjoying the series, make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe if you're new. And again, thanks for watching.